Renaming of a landmark in Baldwin County. For almost three decades, it was known as Burris Farm Market on Highway 59, but not anymore. News 5's Debbie Williams is live in Loxley. And Debbie, that is a familiar sight to anyone who lives or has visited Baldwin County. Absolutely, Mel and Roseanne. And as you can see behind me, and as photojournalist Randy Lowe takes a look at the building, the name of the farm market has been covered up with plywood, but it won't be for very much longer. You know, I can see where those poles come right through here. Greg Burris is getting back in business. We've been mainly trying to sort through what needs to go and what needs to stay. But for legal reasons, a lot of work to be done more than we expected. The market his family started three decades ago can no longer use his name. Well, at least part of it. Everybody wants me to name it Greg, so we'll name it Greg's Farm Market. The market has a long way to go before it is back to its former glory. It's just overwhelming the amount of uh, neglect or work or maintenance that was supposed to be done. But we, we're going to work through it, and we're going to get it back like, like we want it to be. A new name is a good start, and soon Greg's Farm Market will be back as a Baldwin County landmark. Please be patient, and we'll be back and grow good, good crop of vegetables and fruit corn. Now, Greg Burris had originally hoped to have the market open by Labor Day. He says he was being too optimistic. It'll take a lot longer than that, but he will have Greg's Farm Market open as soon as possible. Live on the Baldwin County Beat in Loxley, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.